About a month ago, I attended a photography workshop that had nearly 100 headshot portrait photographers crammed into one building, all working together to improve their craft. And the skill levels of the photographers at this conference ranged from beginner to expert, and it even included some of the best photographers in the world. There were multiple lighting setups, workshops, and tons of one-on-one -on -one time with other photographers. Naturally, I learned a lot, but most of what I took away from the experience there was when I was the subject for other photographers. So in today's video, I wanna share three reasons why I think you as a photographer should let another photographer take your portrait. Number one, you will empathize better with your clients. At the conference, I spent almost an entire day going from one lighting setup to another, not as a photographer, but as a subject. I was actually really surprised and flattered by how many of my colleagues wanted to take my photo. I mean, who can blame them? Um, and one of the first thoughts I had after about five minutes behind the lights was, wow, is this what my clients go through? Let me paint you a picture. You're standing behind the lights and there are three of them and they are bright. As you stand there, the photographer ignores you completely. He's got a seriously furled brow as he looks quizzingly at the back of his camera. His expression is a mix of confusion, fear, and panic. And as he is engrossed in the various buttons and dials on his camera, you realize that you really need to pee and you're holding in a fart. At this point, time begins to slow down. The photographer still hasn't fired the shutter once and now your eyes are watering. Three closely assembled lights in front of you are starting to blend together as you drift into another dimension where you're half blind, sweating profusely, and swaying back and forth. Suddenly, you hear a faint voice in the distance. You're, you're lulled back into the present to hear the photographer muttering something about moving your head around. You do your best to comply, and then you see him finally take a photo. Or did he? His mirrorless camera is silent, so the only indication that a photo has been taken is that he's once again staring at the back of the screen with a furled brow as if he's viewing the single image he's taken in the 10 minutes you've been standing there. Now, he comes closer to you with an even more panicked expression. He starts moving the lights as he stares at your face like he's trying to avoid something horrible on your face by strategically positioning the lights. He looks worried. He's sweating now too. And he's barely said a word to you the whole time. Am I doing a good job? You wonder. Am I even uglier than I thought? Why is he still so confused and pushing buttons? Why am I here? When can I leave? What's the meaning of life? Why didn't the eagles just drop the ring into the fires of Mordor and save everyone all that trouble? Anyway, I digress. And clearly this is a huge exaggeration I'm making right now and it's meant to prove a point. But being behind multiple lights for an entire day of shooting really has changed my perspective on dealing with my own clients. I was reminded that being coached behind bright lights is hard work and that every minute back there should be utilized to its fullest. And that if I need to make adjustments on lights or camera settings, I really should do it quickly and I definitely should not look at my screen or my client with a look of panic. Number two, you will improve your skills. Working with other photographers, especially badass ones, will improve your skills. There's nothing better than being their subject because you will not only see how they set up their lights, but also how they interact with you as their subject. And the beauty of this is that there is no one size fits all approach since we're all unique individuals and bring our own singular vision to our work. But you will pick up tips and tricks along the way that will help you improve everything from your own light setup to your workflow to most importantly, how you interact with people. When you see firsthand how a master portrait artist engages with a person to create a genuine expression, you will learn more than 10 books on portrait lighting can teach you. And when you're the subject, for a photographer of this caliber, and you see how they are able to capture you and capture your true self in a single moment in time, you will no doubt leave that experience a much better photographer yourself. 
Number three, you will realize there are many ways to bake a cake. One of the biggest takeaways I had from working with dozens of different photographers in the course of three days was that there are truly many ways to bake a cake. And I think that this is the true beauty of what we do as photographers. Your lighting setups, interactions with subjects, editing, and everything else that you do is as unique as you are. And although we do adhere to standards when it comes to excellent lighting, good posing, good color, and all the rest, once you have a handle on these core principles and a good amount of experience under your belt doing it, you can start to make the entire process your own. And this is really the beauty of our art, isn't it? That even though we're all using similar equipment and we're all being inspired by each other's work and maybe even being influenced by each other's work, you are still you. And seeing how other people do their process was really the best part for me because not only did it remind me how I'm just part of a community of amazing photographers, but it reminded me that there is no singular way to do it. And that when I experiment and when I find what speaks to me, that's going to speak to my clients too, if it's done from a place of genuineness. Well, that's all I have for you in this quick video today. I hope that you found it somewhat mildly entertaining and educational. And uh, don't forget to gently press that like button. You don't need to smash it. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about anything I said in this video, or you can even just tell me about your dog. I don't care. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Remember that every subscription is like a little tiny dopamine hit that you provide that sustains me to do the next video. And with that, here's wishing you an awesome day. Go out and take some incredible pictures and I will see you next time. Peace.